Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Thanks for joining me today. Welcome to my sewing lair. Today I want to show you um, a very quick uh, and easy and effective way to get a little bit more um, oomph out of your design board. Over the weekend, I was just futzing about and you know, quilt tops are, are, are tough to deal with on your own. And I wanted to make sure that I had my quilt top uh, straight. So to do that, I enlisted some uh, patternies, uh, Pellon patternies grid um, interfacing to just simply put it across the top. And I did so in a way using a level and I just pushed it all the way across the top and across each side. So I had a grid that was level. But of course, <laughs> I said, well, it would be nice if it had um, some numbers on it because that just, you know, helps you when you're having to cut your interfacing or your backing or any of that other stuff. And you don't have to always pull out your, um, you know, your measuring tape. So <laughs> I was going to hand do it on each of the grids and I said why am I doing this I'm sure I can find some inexpensive tape and that's essentially what I did it's while it's not I'm just going to show you as a close-up but I just you know basically took measuring tape not this um, not this tape but just inches only and I got three of them for like you know maybe eight dollars on Amazon and I'll put a link below you really only need it across the top and across each side and you do want to make sure that you have have it level but once it's up there it gives you an amazing ability to do a couple of things thing number one you can you know get your quilt top centered and mark where your centers are based on what where your quilt top is um, and thing number two is that you can make sure when you put your quilt top up you've got a line of sight an easy line of sight to a parallel uh, line on the right and the left and that will help you ensure that your quilt is straight now that's really important um, if you've got a piece back or something where you have to have some 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 good centering so if you you can make very simple marks on your on your board and I'm going to I'm going to pull this um off and walk you out. Here's a close up of both the pattern ease as well as the uh the tape that I put on and I ended up pinning it on so it would be lay straight um, and parallel to the board but what this does is it gives me on each side I'm going to walk over here it gives me on each side a a reference point that I can use relative to my quilt and the other thing that I can do is just take you know these little post-it things um, this has no meaning but I can um, you know, basically put those on various points along my design uh, board to mark the center of my quilt. And you can see I've got the line up there as well. So anyway, I just wanted to show that to you because that might give you an idea on how to make your design board um, avert your eyes I'm traveling. So anyway, I, I wanted to um, show you how I did that and maybe give you an idea on how you can get a little bit more bang for your buck on your uh, design board um, and get um, uh, a partner to help you. And if you use a level and just uh, take a little bit of time, it will save you, um, you know, so much time just kind of getting uh, things up on your board and knowing how um, you know tall something is very easily because you know remember we don't need exact numbers you know I can look at this and see exactly that my quilt is you know sitting down there at the, uh, the 70 inch and um, sitting at, at the 2 inch so that I know that it's 68 by 68 of course I knew it was 68 by 68 anyway but it's up there nice and square and I have an instant visual 
as to how big something is. And this will help me uh, when I make those marks for my quilt top, this will help me um, when I put my batting up and my backing and make sure that I have enough to give me the clearances that I need. So I hope that's a good takeaway for you. Um, and I'll, um, I'll just leave a link to, I don't, I'm not an Amazon affiliate, but I'll just leave you a link so you can see how you could um, pick up these very inexpensive but effective um, um, measuring tapes. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you soon.